Look, I, I want to thank everybody for coming today. I, I know it's a little inclement weather outside. I just drove back in from Albany. Um, you know, I, I'm, uh, I'm usually an, an uh, off-the-cuff speaker. I'm a trial lawyer, you know, so we, we're used to thinking on our feet. Uh, but today I'm going to read a prepared statement for you because it, it's, it's an, important, uh, an important event for myself and my family. Uh, as you know, I, I've dedicated both my personal and professional career to fighting for working people. Uh, I've worked as a proud member of the Laborers Local and was a union organizer. Uh, as an attorney and while serving Western New York, I've always fought for working people. I'm proud of the work that I've accomplished as a lawyer, a union organizer, and a senator. Um, from rallying to fully fund our schools this year, to the fight for 15, and to fighting to establish paid family medical leave to support our children and families. Western New York's most valuable natural resources is another thing I've fought for in, on Lake Erie, our water resources. I've had the distinct honor of uh, representing the 60th Senate District, and because of all that work, I've brought you today to talk about that. Um, my priority has always been the residents that I serve, and those who know me best will attest that I'm a straight shooter. I like to tell it like it is and, and not equivocate. And oftentimes it's to my detriment that, 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 I, that I'm a straight shooter. Um, therefore, I'm announcing today, without any equivocation, that uh, for reasons both personal and professional, I am not seeking re-election to the New York State Senate. Um, as we stand here today, my law partner, Frank Dolce, and Sean Cooney are with me. Um, Frank has been an inspiration. He's been battling cancer for several years. Uh, he's been a pillar of strength. His ability to remain working as hard as the people he represents has been an inspiration to me. He's a positive influence in our office, and uh, what I see the way he interacts with our clients and his family is, is moving. I'm, I'm looking a little emotional talking about it. Um, but because of Frank's ailment, he's not able to do the work that he was able to do before. And as managing partner of being in the state senate, it's put stress on our law practice. And, and that's how I support my family. And I've got two of my three daughters here. One of them was going away to college soon. And so I got to put my family first and my law family above the voters of the 60th Senate District and be able to refocus my activity back here at the law firm. There's also the potential ban on outside income. And uh, as I've been asked about that, um, you know, I make outside income. I'm, I'm a lawyer. And if that ban comes, I would not be able to finish my term in the state senate. There's also been some staff issues in my office, uh, some turnover. And I'm cooperating in that process. And, and that's a part of this decision. But it's really about my family, my partners, and, and that potential ban on outside income. So at, at this moment, we're at a critical juncture in our state's legislative history. We're on the cusp of passing paid family medical leave. We're on the cusp of passing a $15 minimum wage. And I don't want my issues to stand in the way of this seat being held by a Democrat. Because a Democratic majority is what's going to maintain or push forward a progressive agenda. So this was not a decision I made lightly. I discussed it with my family, my law partners, friends, advocates around the state over the course of the last few weeks. And I'm comfortable in going forward that it's the best decision for me, my family, my partners, and for the, and for the people of the 60th Senate District. Me getting out of the way now enables the party to coalesce by the candidate who can hold this seat and win the seat. Uh, I took the endorsement of the Demo Democratic Party, and at that time when I got the endorsement two weeks ago, this wasn't on the table. I wasn't sure, you know, what, what Frank was doing, and, you know, things have changed and I made that decision. I've talked to the, chair, the party chairman, informed him of my decision about half an hour ago, and they will move forward and they'll restart this process. But it's important that we maintain a Democrat. When I ran and won, you know, you don't beat incumbents in New York State politics. And so I, I achieved a significant victory by beating an incumbent, and I'm proud of that. And now to maintain that legacy of, you know, fighting for working people, I'm going to help whoever comes after me to be the Democrat to maintain this district. So. Those are my reasons. I appreciate you all coming today and, and uh, listening to me. And uh, I think that, you know, Megan may, may allow me to take a few questions here. Senator, are you or is anyone in your office under investigation by the Senate Ethics Committee or any other law body? No. There's a, there's a personnel matter, which is confidential, which I can't discuss. But there is presently no ethics investigation. Who is your chief of staff right now? 
Who is my chief of staff right now? My chief of staff right now is Chris Savage. As of yesterday, that changed, correct? He became the chief of staff as of Saturday. Why was that? We made a change. Danny Corum left as my chief of staff, and uh, I, I promoted Chris Savage. Chris has done a great job in the office. He's got a, a lot of government experience, and uh, he's been operating as a deputy for you know probably over a month, and we promoted him. Was Danny's uh, leaving the result of any kind of ongoing investigation? Again, you know, I'm not going to comment on any personnel issues. That situation will play itself out. And, uh, you know, Dan Danny Corum did good work in my office. What situation would that be? I've had some staff turnovers. People have left. I mean, there's, a, there's a widespread spread rumor uh, about a relationship with people potentially in your office. Is there anything you can do to squash that rumor right now? Or? I, I can't speak to any, any relationships in the office. There's, and, and any personnel matter will be dealt with in a confidential manner through Senate personnel. All right, thank you. We're all set here. Thank, thank you very much. Have you endorsed someone to replace you? No. Or do you I, plan to? I haven't endorsed anybody. Why only uh, four questions? Yeah, Why can't we have some more? Sure.